Welcome back to part 9 of this Audi A6 custom body repair job. In this video I will show you how I am preparing this bumper for the paint, or should I better say for the mistake clear coat that I sprayed on this car. Since I've managed to spray a custom paint, I also want to have a custom front bumper for this car, so I will make some changes to it. To be unique, you have to do some mods or changes that no one other has them. So, as I'm doing it myself, it will be for sure that nobody has a front bumper like this on his or hers Audi A6. I will split this entire front bumper build job into at least three subsidiary parts. That's why I named this upload as the 9.1 part video, where I'm working only on the shine part of it and not the show off. Please be patient. I have already made changes to the front radiator grill. Speaking for the moment, as I'm editing this video, the work on the radiator grill is to 50% done. Well, it's about the finishing and the styling part of this work that I still need to do, so I can complete the remaining 50%. It's not easy to build your own body element. Speaking of it, there will be also one or two parts to this particular work on the front grill. So the second subsidiary video, the upload of 9.2, will show you how I managed to build that front radiator grill. Coming back to this video, you can see that for now I am using the machine to send the front bumper as I want to remove every imperfection or bad spot that's on it as much as possible. Throughout the years of its lifetime use, it encountered some issues, a few damages from small different collisions maybe, if I might say so, because it was already painted a few times in the past. That's the reason why I'm going rougher on the sanding of it. I'm using a 600 and 400 grit sandpaper to flatten out any high spot. As the machine can reach every part of the surface, I also need to wet sand the bumper over the curved places or over the edges of it. The chrome pieces need to have their work also done. In the end, I will be spraying them in glossy black, just like the other trim that's on the car. It just might happen to be that I will need to resend and respray all the black out trim that I've already done on the car as I encounter that some paint is peeling off in a few spots. I think that the sanding was just too fine and I need to use a rougher sandpaper. We'll see that in a future video. I'm giving it a coat of primer, so I can see the little scratches better, so I can repair them with some body filler. After that there comes more wet sanding with 800 and 1000 grit sandpaper. Keep it up.
You might question my previous statement to the unique side of this custom bumper build. Well, I will be going to modify the bumper also, not just the trim that's on it. So I can call it for sure to be a custom bumper. I spray the bumper for good so I can drive the car on the streets and take the periodical car inspection until I will have the right amount of time to bring this work to an end. That you will be seeing in a future video. Spraying the paint just as usual in three coats. Had some issues though with the paint flow in the paint gun, but in the end it worked just fine. The paint came out really good. At least I'm proud of it. Please keep in mind that I'm no professional. I'm doing it just for the fun of it and as a hobby. Just for myself, so I can say that I have a custom modified car, just like in the good old days that I've seen them throughout many tuner car movies. Sorry for my narration throughout this video, or better to say throughout all the videos I made. It's always a problem of lack of time. That's the thing that plays the biggest role in capturing or recording and editing these videos. As the night unfolds, I'm working on it to reach my goal of finishing as soon as possible. Now comes the hard part, putting on every single layer needed of my mistake clear coat as I like to call it. It's nearly midnight so I have to go on with it, spraying three coats in a row, separated only by the movement of time. I just managed not to record the finished product, to get you a closer glimpse of how it came out. It was late at night and I was so tired, I just forgot to make a preview of it. I did take some pictures of it in the upcoming days, but I don't know what happened to them. I lost them. It just came out as expected, I really like it. In the next video I will show you how it looks on the car and also how it looks with a mounted front grille on it. Well, keep in touch. Thank you for watching, God bless you.